What's up, you guys? Um, uh, today we're gonna be watching Jake Paul. Um, gets arrested and evicted. No, Jake Paul and Team Ten gets arrested and evicted out of their house. Uh, if y'all don't know who Jake Paul is, Jake Paul is a YouTube star and uh, a social media star. Him and his brother Logan Paul did a um. A few songs with each other, but um, they did a few um, they did a few um, a few videos and everything, but um, let's get into these reactions, y'all. Cause I wanna see what happened. I'm interested. say that he's been filming dangerous stunts and he's putting people in danger. Chris Wolf is live in West Hollywood tonight with a story you will see only here on 5. Chris? That's right. Rick and MB, he is a social media megastar. His name is Jake Paul. We should note he has been a guest on the KTLA 5 morning show, but tonight we visited his West Hollywood neighborhood because of complaints from neighbors. This is a story you will see only on 5. Social media and internet sensation, Jake Paul thrills his fans with wild stunts and antics. The 20-year-old Disney actor is a pop culture powerhouse with 8.5 million followers on Instagram and YouTube. He runs a large house in an upscale West Hollywood neighborhood, and this tight-knit community has become the new setting for many of his pranks and performances. The neighbors hate me. Apparently makes his address no secret, and that piece of information draws an endless stream of fans, mostly young girls, the day we visited, and their parents to the property. He's funny, savage. <laughs> savage? Yeah. A recent stunt involved tossing furniture into an empty pool and setting the pile on fire. Neighbors say flames eventually grew higher than the house, and as the pit was burning and smoking, they were fuming. We used to be a really nice, quiet street, and now we're just this like war zone. We're families here, and we're more than happy to have them live here if they're respectful of their neighbors, but they're not. But as neighbors living with this every day, we're fed up. Look at them. Shortly after we arrived, look who came out to greet us. Okay, get up No, why? Why? They say that you've created a living hell out here. Uh, that it's like a circus. Yeah, it is. All the fans. Yeah. I mean, but people like going to circuses, right? What do you say to the neighbors though, that are upset? That uh, they're really upset. No, I, I honestly. Can't beat them, join them. No, I'm honestly, yeah, it's terrible. It's a bad situation. No, I feel bad for them, yeah. for sure. Uh, there's nothing we can do though. The Jake Paulers are the strongest army out there, Dab. I have one question for you. Yeah. What are those? I guess he didn't like my shoes, but I don't think they're so bad. Neighbors I spoke with tell me next week they're going to have a special meeting with city leaders and police and code enforcement officials and so forth. Depending on what happens there, they will decide whether to file a class action public nuisance lawsuit against Jake Paul and the homeowner. We'll keep you posted. Live in West Hollywood, Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News. Sorry, Wolfie, we thank you for that. Last night, friends of social media star Jake Paul of the late report that Paul is wreaking havoc on the West Hollywood neighborhood. I wouldn't call up there. Why? Hey, I just wouldn't do that. I wanted to interview here. The 20-year-old YouTube star is accused by neighbors of performing dangerous stunts in the area and putting people in danger. Paul also gave out his address to fans who routinely flock to his house. Residents are considering a class action public nuisance lawsuit against Paul. 
Social media started to spew J. Prime's poems. We told him to sympathize with our neighbors, which is why we wrote and hand delivered letters to them, apologizing for the inconvenience. I was upset that the crowds caused by us living here. Hopefully, we will have a new home to live. I mean, to move to very soon. Today versus a few years ago. 
Yeah, so Vine was um, super, super popular uh, a couple of years ago, and it's on its like dwindling edges um, along with Twitter, uh, but they're still both very powerful platforms. And it's just about translating your content onto other platforms. So now like Instagram and Facebook and Snapchat are super popular. And so I just create content on those platforms and grow an audience there. Um, and social media is kind of the same across the board, so you just have to know how to engage your audience uh, and you'll be popular on any platform that comes up. And then the, the other goal, Jake, of course, is to translate that into money. Can you share with us how much you're actually making from social media? Is it six figures, seven figures? What can you say? Um, so starting out, it was six figures. Then up into seven figures um, Hello. as you get like to, <laughs> yeah as you as you get more and more popular and start to build a brand name for yourself in the space you start working with big fortune 500 companies uh, merchandising deals you can tour um, so there's a lot of ways to monetize but if you have millions of fans and you can convert like even five percent of them to pay for something of yours you're you're in the seven figure range but see like on, on YouTube he got what like, eight million though on YouTube. Yeah. Alright y'all this is my